But before we get into all the technical details around Hadoop, let's really look at where it came from because its origins have a lot to do with the way it works and what it's good at. Here's a photograph of Hadoop and it's not the guy on the right. We'll talk about him in a minute. It's really the guy on the left. That's Hadoop. Or at least that was the origin of the name that was applied to the technology. Hadoop was created by the guy on the right, Doug Cutting, who, while at Yahoo, needed a distributed storage engine for his Nutch search engine. And why would he need that? Well, because he was going to store vast amounts of blob data. And those blob data was basically every page on the internet. If you were going to store a copy of every page on the internet so that you could analyze it with a search engine, you'd need to store quite a lot of data. But he had some constraints, right? So he needed unlimited scale out. The internet is adding more pages every day, and those pages, as we know from search engines, never seem to get deleted from the search engine. They're just there forever. So his requirements included unlimited scale out. But he also needed to keep his costs reasonable. So he needed something that was designed to use more commodity, low-cost PC hardware so that as it scaled out, it wasn't going to cost too much of a small fortune. So what he designed was Hadoop. It was actually named after one of his kids' stuffed animals. That stuffed animal was an elephant, which is why we often see this yellow elephant associated with Hadoop. Hadoop's basic architecture at a very high level is it's broken into two components. So there's the HDFS layer, which is Hadoop Distributed File System. That's where the data is stored, and it's stored in that MPP fashion that we talked about in a previous lesson, where the data is stored on a lot of different nodes, and then there's a coordinating nodes on top of that that keep everything organized and marshal the resources between. And then on top of that is a MapReduce layer. The MapReduce layer is really the processing layer that processes the data, that reads it, interprets it. So all the schema on read that we talked about in the last lesson is being done in this MapReduce layer. And many people think that Hadoop is a database product of some kind, and, and it's actually not. Hadoop itself actually isn't even one thing. Hadoop is, is the collective name for a lot of projects that are within an ecosystem. At the bottom of that ecosystem is the HDFS, Hadoop Distributed File System. Of course, we've got to store the data somewhere in order to process it. Almost everything above that is some project that's used to process data that's stored in HDFS. And coming at this from more of a SQL Data Warehouse point of view, the green boxes are the ones we're most concerned with and that we're going to cover first. And that's the HDFS, the file system, MapReduce, which is the job scheduling and execution system, Hive, which puts a SQL layer on top of all of that, and Scoop, which we can use to move data in and out of SQL relational databases. If Big Data's genesis was to support the high storage requirements of things like Yahoo search engines and Google search engines, where is it most used today? Big Data technologies are the mission critical database systems for most of the name brand web properties you've heard of. These properties have massive volume storage requirements, they handle data that's only semi-structured as part of their business, and they primarily use things like Hadoop. So many of them use Hadoop, some use other technologies that follow the same paradigms but are developed and branched in different directions. But we also see these same kinds of technologies to handle these massive semi-structured data requirements being applied in commercial government applications too. Even though we're not web properties in a commercial business, we do sometimes have the same requirements that a web property might have and can take advantage of the research and development that's occurred with technologies like Hadoop.